What's up guys, Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to learn how to add fire protection sprinklers. So again, this is one of the topic that uh, they are going to discuss and you will be encountering during the Revit for Mechanical Design Professional Certification. Okay, so you need you need to learn how to uh, place fire protection sprinklers. Okay, so in this exercise, we're going to recognize the hosted and non-hosted sprinklers. And then we're going to place sprinklers at the correct location. And then let's modify the symbol used for sprinklers. Okay, let's do this. So sprinklers can be found here on the systems tab. And then you can see here the plumbing and piping. Okay, so there's your sprinkler. The shortcut for a uh, sprinkler is SK. Okay, so let's select this one. Alright, so you will notice by default, I am selecting or the selected sprinkler is sprinkler upright, one half inch upright. Okay, so this is a non-hosted family because you only have these options here so you only have load family and model in place so meaning to say for you to be able to place this uh, family you need to specify what will gonna be the height and also the level for the level we're not gonna change that since we are on our ground floor so i want to place the sprinkler for example from ground floor but you need to specify the sprinkler height Okay, otherwise when you pick, you will not be able to see your sprinkler because it is at uh, zero uh, elevation. Okay, so if we check the project browser, we are on a ceiling plan. Okay, so there's the ceiling plan, so that's why you can see here the, the ceiling. Okay, so if you are going to change the type of your sprinkler from another type, like for example, uh, this one. So let's check out this one, sprinkler pendant. Again, sprinkler pendant is a non-hosted uh, family. You can place that without any host. So let's look for another type of sprinkler. Okay, this one here, as you can see, there's the name sprinkler pendant uh, hosted. So if I select one, like half inch pendant of the sprinkler pendant hosted. So when a face base type is selected, from our type selector so you will notice this option so a placement option panel will appear in our contextual tab okay so these are the options that you can use before you place your uh, hosted family okay so we are going to select let's say i'm gonna look for sprinkler dry pendant do i have that one here Okay, so this one, so sprinkler, dry pendant, uh, dry pendant, fully recessed hosted. Okay, so I'm going to use a uh, half inch dry pendant sprinkler. Okay, so I'm going to select this one. Okay, and then from the type selector, so we will be using the option here, place on face. That is what we're going to use. So we do not need to specify here the elevation because it is understood that we are going to place that on our ceiling. So the ceiling, you already specified that uh, the, height of this, the height of the ceiling when you create that. So that's why we don't need to specify the height of our sprinkler. Okay, so let's say anywhere. So let's say I'm going to put it here. So I'm going to click one here like that. Okay, to place the sprinkler. And now, so let's say I'm going to select a non-hosted family. So let me look for sprinkler, dry, pendant, or let's say an upright, this one. So sprinkler, dry, upright. Okay, so one half or three-fourth. So let's use this one. So let's click this. So this is a non-hosted family, so we don't need we don't have those options here. So you need to specify here the height. Okay, so you need to specify the elevation. So let's say for the offset, I'm gonna type nine, nine for nine feet, and then enter, and then we are now going to place it. So let's say I'll just put it here just beside our uh, hosted family and like that. So if you're going to let's say you forgot to change the height. 
you change that i'll just change it back to zero so let's say i forgot to change the offset so if i click here so you will see this warning so none of the created elements are visible okay so that means for this um case the elevation there is zero that's why you can't see it so you need to uh, select modify to terminate the tool and you need to look for that sprinkler so how to do that so let me just close first the warning so i just need to select one of the sprinkler that we have placed and then we're going to create a selection box for that so let's click that one and then let us adjust this one so let's click the section box click outside to deselect the object and then select the section box so there's the sprinkler so let me adjust that one and we're going to pull down that section box and there you go so there's our non-hosted sprinkler it's zeros all right so i'm gonna change that to uh nine so i'm gonna type here nine enter and it's now here up okay so there's now our sprinkler okay so you can still change that so let's say eight feet enter and that's it okay so that's how you change it so we can also create a section okay so aside from going to the 3d view so you can also do this so let me escape first so let's go select our section tool here that one and i'll just create a section from here so i'm gonna click here and then i click another point here and there you go so there's now our section so to open up our section so you can right click the section line and then you can select go to view so when you click go to view so there is now our section there so let me just adjust my section just to tidy up adjust it let's adjust okay and then from here in our section so you can uh, change the height of your uh, model okay so let's say i'm going to select my uh, sprinkler here so i can change this one so if you want to change the type so we can change from here okay so you can select you can change the type and you can also change the graphic here okay so if you click the drop down arrow so there are other options here that you can use for the symbol or the graphic symbol of that particular object. So if I select uh, sprinkler symbol pendant on drop, select that one. So it doesn't change anything. So let's uh, use other option, this one. Okay, so it's, it's not changing. So they are just all the same. Okay, let me select this. And then let's go back to floor plan so that's how it looks like now so let's check select and then let's check from here this one okay so that's now how it looks like so let's click again and then you can select with guard there you go so that's how you modify your sprinkler so this is one of the question that will be uh, showing when you take the examination the mechanical uh, Revit for mechanical design professional certification so you need to learn how to place a fire protection sprinkler okay so hopefully you learn something from this video thank you for watching have a nice day